Hello everyone and welcome to our Gainful series. Today we will be covering the news from June 10th till 16th. Let's get started. Which organization has received the second highest target after SBI for digital transaction from Methi? Good news that now even Methi is giving target to different organization, both PSUs and non-PSUs. Abhishek Saha has been appointed as the marketing head of which company? The second global disability summit was held where? Girish Karnar, who died at the age of 81, was a renowned what? Canada is going to ban single-use plastic from which year? Paytm Payment Bank has received a target of 501.16 crore digital transactions for the, for the financial year 1920 from Maiti. In a statement, Paytm said it is only behind State Bank of India, which has highest target of digital transaction. Only five other banks have received a target more than 100 crore transactions, which includes HDFC, ICICI, Axis Bank, Punjab National Bank and Union Bank of India. So Paytm is in big league. Bharat Pay, truly Indian fintech company serving the offline retailers and business through UPI payment, lending and other financial services announced the appointment of Abhishek Saha as its marketing head. A delegation head by Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment, Sri Thawachan Gehlot, participated in second Global Disability Summit held at Buenos Aires, Argentina. Noted actor, dramatist and Gyan Awardee Girish Karnad passed away in Bengaluru. Canada Prime Minister Justin Trudeau announced that single-use plastic will be banned in the country from 2021. Okay, he declared it a global challenge to phase out plastic bags, straws and cutlery clogging the world ocean. So most of the problem that we are facing, the marine pollution, is because of single-use plastic. The South and South Asia Commodity Expo and Investment Fair SSACIF 2019 will be hosted where? Uh, India's leading civil services training institute NCGG will train 1,000 civil servants of which country over the next five years. India has collaborated with which country to set up National Maritime Heritage Museum at Lothal in Gujarat. Recently, that, uh, data showed that the import from Pakistan to India has declined by how much percent in March this year? Mount Sinabung is located where? As the Kunmin city of Yuan province in China gets up for South and South Asia Community Expo and Investment Fair, local authorities have expressed satisfaction over India's participation and have allocated as many as 240 booths for the fair, which is the largest among the South Asian countries. India's leading civil services training institution, NCGG, will train 1,000 Maldives civil servants over the next five years. India and Portugal will cooperate in setting up of a National Maritime Heritage Museum at Lothal in Gujarat because Portugal has already done something similar. Import from Pakistan to India has declined by 92% to 2.8 million US dollar in March this year after imposition of 200% custom duties on all product following Pulwama terror attack. India's export to Pakistan to have dipped uh, by about 32% to 171 million dollars in March. However, the exports grew by 7.4% to $2 billion during the entire 1819. A huge column of ash was blasted almost 5 miles into the sky above the Indonesian island of Sumatra after an active volcano erupted, Mount Sinabung, blew for 9 minutes causing panic among island residents. Which Indian automobile manufacturer has received the gold award in South Africa? who has invited PM Narendra Modi to attend the outreach session of G7 summit in Biarritz as a special invite. I'm not sure how this place is pronounced. Chokhandi Stupa is located where? Who is the winner of 2019 Canadian Grand Prix? R.V. Janaki Raman, who died at the age of 79, was a former chief minister of which state? India's automobile major Mahindra won the gold award for faring on various indicators including level of satisfaction among its network of dealers and manner of allocation to vehicles to them. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has accepted an invitation from French President Emmanuel Macron to attend the outreach session of the G7 summit in Biarritz as a special invitee. An ancient Buddhist site in Uttar Pradesh, Sarnath, known as Chaukhandi Stupa, has been declared 
to be of national importance by Archaeological Survey of India, a notification of the Union Ministry of Culture said. Lewis Hamilton secured a record-breaking 7th win at the 2019 Canadian Grand Prix after Sebastian Vettel was penalized for dangerous driving. Former Puducherry Chief Minister and Senior Dravid Munetra Kalagam leader R. V. Janaki Raman died. What is India's rank as per IMD World Competitiveness Ranking 2019? Mekathoti Suharita became the first woman Home Minister of its state. E. Gopinath, who died at the age of 88, was a veteran. What? Who has been appointed as the MD of Gift City? Crazy Mohan, who died at the age of 66, was a renowned witch industry actor. United States is no longer the most competitive economy in the world. As per IMD World Competitiveness Ranking 20, the US has been dethroned by Singapore, which has emerged at the top of the list. Hong Kong moved up to the second spot in the list. India was not even in top 40. India has ranked 43rd. Mekathoti Sucharita, the first woman Home Minister of Andhra Pradesh after bifurcation, was accorded a rousing welcome by the party leaders. Veteran journalist and Tamil Nadu chief of news agency ANIE Gopinath passed away in Chennai. He was 88. Former corporate affairs secretary and board member at SEBI Tapan Roy has been appointed managing director of Gift City, India's first international financial service center and operational smart city. Renowned Tamil writer, comedian and actor Kredi Mohan passed away in Chennai. He was 66. Which life insurance company has launched a unique proprietary tool, My Protection Quotient? Shashakt Committee is associated with what? Who became the Prime Minister, Principal Secretary to Prime Minister Naren Modi? How many Indian origin Australian have received Member of Order of Australia? Name the first solar power Gram Panchayat in Karnataka. Max Life Insurance Company Limited, one of India's fastest growing life insurance company, announced the launch of a unique proprietary tool, My Protection Quotient. The mandatory norm of integrated agreement allows bank to decide resolution strategy outside the IBC and it will help lender to accelerate process to resolve stress assets. Sasak, uh, Shashak Committee on Bad Loans said. So, Sasak Committee was on bad loans. Nripend Mishra has been reappointed as Principal Secretary to Prime Minister Narendra Modi. PK Mishra has also been reappointed as Additional Principal Secretary to Mr. Modi. Uh, seven Indian origin Australians, including three women, have received the country's top honours for their significant contribution in the field of medicine, music, education and finance. Amasse Bailu in Kondapura Taluk of Udupi district has become Karnataka's first solar powered Gram Panchayat. Over 1800 houses were provided solar lamps at a total cost of 2.13 crore rupees. The project was funded by center and state government in ratio 30 to 20 and the rest was paid by the Panchayat and charitable organizations. Wonderful initiative. Green Mizoram Day was celebrated on which day? Name the news agency cleared by government to develop sophisticated weapon system and technologies to fight wars in space. What is the new name of International Association of Athletics Federation, IAAF? India has been designated as the guest of honor at the 33rd Gudalaraja International Book Fair in which country? Kasim Zomarth Tokayev became the president of which country? Green Mizoram Day was celebrated throughout the state on June 11 with distribution of plant distribution and planting trees and taking pledge to work for green environment and maintaining ecological balance. The Cabinet Committee on Security headed by Prime Minister Narendra Modi has cleared the setting up of new agency called Defence Space Research Agency which is DSRO which has been entrusted with the task of creating space warfare weapon system and technologies sources in Defence Ministry said. World Athletics Governing Body IAAF is to be rebranded as World Athletics. The International Association of Athletics Federation was initially founded in 1912 as the International Amateur Athletic Federation. Its headquarters is in Monaco. India has been designated as the guest of honor at the 33rd Feria International del Libro de Guadalajara uh, Book Fair. Yeah, that's in Mexico. Incumbent President Kasim Zomarth Tokayev has won the presidential election in Kazakhstan. Who has been appointed as the Director General of the Bureau of Police Research and Development? Kheer Bhavani Mela has been celebrated at which place? Which company became the world's most valuable brand according to 2019 100 Top Brands C? 
India has joined hands with which railways for world class infrastructure along with assistance of 7 lakh euros for railway station development in India which company has acquired the ethnic apparel and lifestyle retailer Jaipur Senior IPS officer VS Komudi has been appointed as the director general of the Bureau of Police Research and Development. Hundreds of Kashmiri pundits gathered to offer prayer at Ragnia Devi Temple in Khir Bhawani Mela in Jammu and Kashmir, Gandharbal. US retail giant Amazon has moved past high-tech titans Apple and Google to become the world's most valuable brand. Indian Railways join hand with French Railways for world-class infrastructure. Aitya Billa Fashion Retail, ABFRL, which retail brands such as Louis Philippe, Peter England, Van Heusen has acquired the ethnic apparel and lifestyle retailer Jaipur for 110 crore. Who has been conferred the 54th Gyan Peet Award for the year 2018? According to the annual Internet Trend Report 2019, India contributes what percent of the global internet user base? Who has been appointed part-time member of the Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India? Who is the chairman of RBI's committee to examine ATM charges and fees by bank? Zonel Sogaizam, who has been included in the Facebook Hall of Fame 2019 for detecting a WhatsApp bug, belongs to which state? Noted English writer Amitav Ghosh has been converted 54th Gyanpeet Award for the year 2018. The award was given for his outstanding contribution in English. Former Governor of West Bengal, Gopal Krishna Gandhi presented the award to Mr. Ghosh at a function in New Delhi. At the court conference, the Queen of Internet and former Morgan Stanley Internet analyst, Mary Mikir has released her annual Internet Trends report. So she, as a person, releases this uh, report. Uh, Mikir 334 report revealed that there were a total of 3.8 billion Internet users around the world. That is equal to 51% of the global population, so half the world is on internet. The number of internet users is up from 49 is up from 49% in 2017. Out of 3.8 billion, India has the second largest internet base, standing at 12%. China continues to lead with 21% internet user. US is on number three with a base of 8% internet users. So it's like quite common sensical. So China. Highest population followed by India, followed by US, right? Chief Economic Advisor Krishnamurti Subramanyam and former MD and CEO of IDBI Bank B. Sriram were appointed part time member of Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India. The appointment committee of the cabinet has approved their appointment. The order issued by Personal Ministry said. The Reserve Bank has constituted a high-level committee under IBA Chief Executive VG Kannan to examine ATM charges and fees by the banks amid demands for reviewing the levies. Facebook has honored a Manipuri man for discovering a WhatsApp bug that violated the privacy of users. Zonil Sogaizam, a 22-year-old civil engineer, said that the social media giant awarded $5,000 to him. Who has been appointed as the leader of Rajya Sabha? Who has been chosen as pro term speaker of the 17th Lok Sabha? According to BP's statistical review of the world energy, the global carbon emission grew by how much percent in 2018? The highest rate since 2010 11. Name the 8 year old Indian girl who has been honored in the 22nd edition of the Emirates Recycling Award in Dubai. Recently, which country has announced to invest 13,000 crore in several projects in India's northeast region? Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment, Thawachan Gehloth, has been appointed as the leader of the house for the Rajya Sabha. Meanwhile, Union Minister for Railways and Commerce, Piyush Goel, will take charge as deputy leader for the upper house of the Indian parliament. Ahead of the election for Lok Sabha, Speaker on June 19, BJP MP Dr. Virendra Kumar has been chosen as pro term speaker of the 17th Lok Sabha. We already know uh, Mr. Birla has become the actual uh, speaker by now. The chosen pro term speaker will administer the oath of the newly elected MPs on June 17th. Kumar, a seven time MP from Tikamgarh in Madhya Pradesh, was the Minister of State in the Ministry of Women and Child Development and also in the Ministry of Minority Affairs between September 2017 to May 2019. Global carbon emission grew by 2% last year, the highest rate since 2010-11, a closely watched review by energy giant BP said, calling the trend unsustainable. 
एट ईयर ओल्ड इंडियन गर्ल लिविंग इन दुबई कलेक्टेड फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड के जी ऑफ पेपर वेस्ट एज पार्ट ऑफ एमिरेट्स एनवायरमेंट ग्रुप नेशन वाइड रिसाइकलिंग कैंपेन अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस होर्स द इको वॉरियर नेम नियर टॉनी वॉज ऑनर्ड फॉर हर रोल इन सेविंग द एनवायरमेंट इन ट्वेंटी सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ द एमिरेट रिसाइकलिंग अवार्ड इन दुबई जापान विल इन्वेस्ट थर्टीन थाउजेंड क्रोर इन सेवरल ऑन गोइंग एज वेल एज न्यू इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट इन द नॉर्थ ईस्ट रीजन including a water supply scheme in assam and a network of connectivity connectivity improvement in vega meghalaya department of northeast region ministry said who has launched the e governance initiative for st welfare schemes uh, lakshman narsimhan became the new ceo of which company world day against child labor is observed on which day every year recently which american tech giant has been surpassed by tcs in market cap Recently, which state has approved a proposal to punish sons and daughters who abandon their elderly parents with jail term? Good initiative. Arjun Munda, Union Minister for Tribal Affairs, launched e-governance initiative for ST Welfare Scheme at a function organized by Ministry of Tribal Affairs. Racket Bank Kaiser Group has named PepsiCo Lakshman Narsimhan as its next Chief Executive Officer. The ILO launched World Day Against Child Labour in 2002 to focus. attention on the global extent of the child labor and the action and efforts needed to eliminate it very serious issue each year on 12th of june the world brings together government employers worker organizations civil society as well as millions of people from around the world to highlight the plight of child laborers and what can be done to help them theme children should work in field but on their dreams homegrown technology major tata consultancy services surpass american tech giant market value IBM at the close uh, days close TCS market capitalization stood at 120.5 billion while that of IBM stood at 119.6 major achievement Bihar cabinet led by chief minister Nitish Kumar has approved the proposal to punish sons and daughter who abandon their elderly parent with a jail term After the successful test of hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle HST DV from a base of Odisha coast India becomes which number of country to do the, to have this technology According to a report by Crisel the NPA in the Indian banking system has declined to how much percent as of March 2019 what is India's rank in the end of childhood index the central government has set a target of providing clean drinking water to all by which year under Pradhan Mantri Jan Vikas Karyakram the government is providing how much percent funding to develop school colleges ITI polytechnics hospital on work land India conducted a successful first test flight of indigenously developed hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle from a base of Odisha coast and has become the fourth country to do so. Only uh, three more countries have that technology that's US, Russia and China. The system wide non performing asset stock has declined massively to 9.3 as of March 2019 much faster than even RBI estimate. and steeply down from 11.5 the year before says a report by cresel india's rank uh, is 113 out of 176 country on the well being of children according to the end of childhood index this is sad we have to really go a long way the country stood at 116 among 172 countries in 200 uh, in 2018 so that's still some improvement the index is part of changing lives in our lifetime global childhood report and was released by save the children a non profit The center has set a target of providing clean drinking water to all by 2024. There are around 5 lakh 77 thousand registered work properties across the country, and geotagging and digitalization will ensure transparency and safety of work record. He said, for the first time, government has decided to provide 100% funding to develop school, colleges, ITI, polytechnic, hospital, and of work land. under the pradhan mantri jan vikas karyakram that's ministry of minority affairs has said this okay in the discussion paper for information informant mechanism related to insider training released by sebi the whistle blower could get a monetary reward up to how much how much rupees how much fdi india received in 2018 dash and max bupa signed a bank assurance corporate agency agreement The government has reduced the rate of contribution made by employees and employers under Employee State Insurance Act from 6.5% to how much? How many Indian companies have been included in Forbes magazine list of world 2000 largest public companies? 
Capital market regulator SEBI released a discussion paper from informant mechanism related to insider trading where whistleblower could get a monetary reward of up to 1 crore. The regulator proposed a monetary reward in case the information provided by the informant comply with the informant policy and the monies are disgorged as a result of any action taken on the basis of credible and original information and leads to disgorgement of at least 5 crore. Foreign direct investment to India grew by 6% to 42 billion US dollar in 2018 with strong inflows in the manufacturing, communication and financial service sector and cross-border merger and acquisition activities. IDBI Bank Limited and Max Bupa, a standalone health insurer, signed a bank assurance corporate uh, agency agreement. The government has reduced the rate of contribution made by employee and employer under the Employee State Insurance Act from 6.5 to 4%. The new rate will be effective from the 1st of next month. It will benefit 3.6 crore employees and 12.85 lakh employers. As many as 57 Indian companies figure in Forbes magazine list of world 2000 largest public companies with HDFC Limited being named among the top 10 consumer finance firm. Which Indian actress will be honored by Denny K Humanitarian Award by UNICEF? Which tech company has launched TechB program? Which Indian sports person has featured in the Forbes list of world highest paid athletes? Which Indian Union Minister will be honored by JNU at the convocation to be held in August? The International Albinism Awareness Day is observed on which day every year? UNICEF will honor Indian actress Priyanka Chopra with Danny K Humanitarian Award at the UNICEF's No Flake Ball in December. In the time and retrenchment are a daily routine, HCL Technologies have found a way to catch the tech-loving teenagers very young. Under the TechB program that it is testing in Tamil Nadu and Uttar Pradesh, the firm conducts an entrance race to those completed the plus two or intermediate course and gives them a year's training to make them employable. Star cricketer Virat Kohli remains the sole Indian in Forbes list of world highest paid athlete with estimate annual earning of 25 million. Jawaharlal Nehru University on June 12 said it would confer its Distinguished Alumni Award to Union Minister Nirmala Sitaraman and Subramaniam Jai Shankar. The award will be presented at JNU's third convocation to be held in August. On 18th December 2014, the General Assembly adopted resolution proclaiming with effect from 2015, 13 June as International Albinism Awareness Day. It's a rare, non-contagious, genetically inherited difference present at birth. Albinism results in a lack of pigmentation, melanin in the hair, skin and eyes, causing vulnerability to the sun and bright light. As a result, almost all the people with albinism are visually impaired and are prone to developing skin cancer. There is no cure for the absence of melanin that is central to albinism. Still standing strong was the theme. National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj Dash has launched a training program of Sustainable Livelihood and Adaptation to Climate Change SLACC to help rural poor farm hole adapt to climate change and sustain their livelihood. Named the third Indian bats woman to be featured in Kia Super League for the first time researchers from which university have created high resolution map of points around the globe where groundwater meets the ocean. Shri Guru Teg Bahadur a Sikh museum has been inaugurated where which country has approved forest are living entities. The Hyderabad based National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj has launched a training program of sustainable livelihood and adaptation to climate change to help rural poor farmer all adapt to climate change and sustain their livelihood. The young bats woman from Mumbai, Jemima Roderick, has signed up for Yorkshire Diamond for the forthcoming Kia Super League season. Scientists have created high resolution map of points around the globe where groundwater meets the ocean that's done by the Ohio State University in the US. A museum exhibiting Sikh culture and tradition has opened in the heart of state capital Raipur. There was a little confusion here because in, in most of the news they have the headline says Raipur and within the news they talked about Ranchi. So I think they confuse with the neighboring state but it's a Raipur only that gets cleared because the museum Sri Tegh Bahadur Sikh Museum located Gurudwara Guru Singh Sahab uh, Sabha in Guru Nanak Nagar was inaugurated by Chief Minister Bhupesh Bagal. He is from Chhattisgarh. So that, that is taken care of. It's Raipur okay, and not Ranchi. 
On World Environment Day, the Legislative Assembly of El Salvador approved a pronouncement deeming that forests are living entities. The pronouncement also said that each person must commit to caring for, preserving and respecting forests and to promote concrete action that expands forests in El Salvador. In 2018, scientists and taxonomists have documented how many new species of flora and fauna from India, where the Indian Navy hosted a maritime information sharing workshop under the aegis of the Information Fusion Center, Indian Ocean Region. Rajnath Singh Surya, who died at the age of 82, was a veteran what? Pazavila Rameshan, who passed away at the age of 83, was a famous what? Indian origin South African Ahmed Esop, who died at the age of 88, was a famous what? Scientists and taxonomists have documented 596 new species of flora and fauna from India in the year 2018. The Indian Navy hosted a maritime information sharing workshop under the ages of IFCIOR at Gurugram. Veteran journalist and former BJP Rajya Sabha member Rajnath Singh Surya died in Lucknow. He was 82. Poet and lyricist. Pazavila Rameshan passed away, he was 83. Renowned author and former educationist of Indian origin, Ahmed Esop, died in South Africa, he was 88. The 16th Asia Media Summit was held where? Under which initiative has ISRO for the first time opened its laboratory for Indian school students? Directorate General of Training under the ages of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Ministry has joined and with which organization to skill the youth for digital economy through its industrial training institute ITIs who has been promoted as RBI's executive director India has decided to impose a retaliatory duties on how much US product worth over 200 million the 16th Asia media summit concluded in Cambodia calling for regulation making to fight against fake news and cyber crime Indian Space Research Organization has for the first time opened its laboratory for Indian Institute that's under new Young Scientist Program or Yuva Vigyanik Karikram Yuvika. The Director General of Training under the ages of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship Ministry has joined hand with Cisco and Accenture to skill the youth for the digital economy through its industrial training institutes. Reserve Bank of India has promoted Rabi and Mishra as the Central Bank Executive Director after the position fell vacant on Rosemary Sebastian retirement. Tariff on apple, almonds, shrimp, chickpeas, boric acid and few other items imported from US are set to go up as the government decided decide to impose retaliatory duties worth 200 million dollars on 29 products. What is India's rank on Global Peace Index 2019? Who was conferred with the Manas Order of the first degree, the highest national award of Kyrgyzstan? Which team has recorded the biggest ever victory in FIFA Women's World Cup? World Blood Donor Day is celebrated each year on which uh, day? Which company has acquired the Aadhaar Housing Finance Limited? India's rank has slipped 5 places to 141 among 163 countries on Global Peace Index 2019 while Iceland remains the most peaceful country and Afghanistan the least peaceful nation says the report. Chinese President Xi Jinping was conferred the highest national award of Kyrgyzstan which is hosting in the 19th SCO summit. United States recorded the biggest ever victory in the FIFA Women's World Cup when they crushed Thailand 13-0 in Group F match at Remis in France. World Blood Donor Day is celebrated each day on June 14th. Blackstone announced that the private equity fund managed to have acquired 97.7% stake in Aadhaar Housing Finance uh, Limited. Export-Import Bank of India will provide a line of credit worth 245 million US dollar to which country for agriculture and railway project? Which digital lending startup has partnered with Digit Insurance to offer insurance against EMIs? What amount will a farmer contribute per month under Pradhan Mantri Kisan Pension Yojana? Which Indian actor will lead the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne recently? Which Indian nation has been conferred with the Star of Jerusalem medal, one of the highest honor given to the foreign national by the Palestinian Authority? Export-Import Bank of India will provide line of credit worth 245 million to Ghana and Mozambique for agriculture and railway projects. 
Bengaluru based digital lending startup Just Money has partnered with Digit Insurance to offer insurance EMIs to 5 million customer base. The partnership will enable Just customer to be relieved of the debt in case they are not able to repay because of unforeseen circumstances. Farmer will have to contribute Rs 100 per month under Pradhan Mantri Kisan Pension Yojana that seeks to provide maximum fixed monthly pension of 3000 on attainment of 60 year according to the government. Shah Rukh Khan is all set to lead the Indian Film Festival of Melbourne as the chief guest to celebrate courage as its central theme. Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas has conferred Sheikh Mohammed Munir Ansari, an Indian national with Star of Jerusalem medal, one of the highest honor given to foreign national by Palestinian authorities. ECL Finance has signed an agreement with which company to form a strategic partnership to explore co-lending opportunities? Which mutual fund investment platform has announced the Selfiewala KYC? In the fifth meeting of the governing council of Niti Aayog, the PM has emphasized to make India a $5 trillion economy by which year? The fifth conference on interaction and confidence building measures in Asia summit was held where? Jyoti Surekha Vennam of Vizavada is associated with which sports? ECL Finance, the flagship non-banking financial company of Edelweiss Group and Bank of Baroda has India's second largest public sector bank signed an agreement to form strategic partnership to explore co-lending opportunities. Online mutual fund investment platform Fund Bazaar announces the release of its new feature called Selfiewala KYC. The fifth meeting of the governing council of Niti Aayog was held under the chairmanship of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. At Raspati Bhavan, he emphasized that the goal is to realize potential of this great country to create new India by 2022 and US dollar 5 trillion economy by 2024. External Affairs Minister S.J. Shankar has said terrorism poses gravest threat to the people in Asia and terrorists and their victim must never be equated. He was speaking at the fifth conference on interaction and confidence building measure in Asia summit in Tajikistan capital Dushanbe. Vijayawada based archer Jyotish Surekha Vennam made India proud winning two bronze medals on the ongoing World Archery Championship in Netherlands. Who is the winner of the Pacific International Snooker Billiard Championship 2019? Total how many winners of Balch Sahitya Puraskar have been announced by Sahitya Academy? Recently, which NGO has been awarded the BBC World Service Global Championship Award? Who became Miss India 2019? Which country recently has banned ads portraying harmful gender stereotypes? Peter Gilchrist, a former multiple world billiards champion from Singapore, brought Saurav Kothari's run to a halt at Pacific International Snooker Billiard Championship played at Yarraville Club, Melbourne. Sahitya Academy, India's National Academy of Letter, announced a list of 22 winners of the Bal Sahitya Puraskar and 23 recipients of Yuva Puraskar for this year. Akshay Patra, a non-profit organization running one of the world's largest school meal project in India, has been awarded the BBC World Service Global Champion Award for the program. Suman Rao from the state of Rajasthan became Miss India 2019. Commercial portraying harmful gender stereotype are banned in UK now. The nation advertising watchdog introduced the ban because it found evidence suggesting that adverse stereotype could restrict the choices, aspiration and opportunities of children, young people and adults and these stereotypes can be reinforced by some advertising which plays part in unequal gender outcomes. Name the Women Project Director of Mission Chandrayaan 2 recently which country has suspended a controversial extradition bill after mass protest? What is India's rank in world according to FIFA? World Elder Abuse Awareness Day is observed every year on which day? Recently the National Disaster Management Authority conducted 5 day basic training program at the Indial Port Trust where? For the first time the Indian Space Research Organization has two women project directors Ritu Karidhal and Muthaya Vanita for its interplanetary mission Chandrayaan 2. Hong Kong City's leader Carrie Lam announced she was suspending a controversial extradition bill after mass protests and sustained opposition from multiple sectors of the society. India remains unmoved at 101 position after FIFA, the apex body of football, released the latest team ranking. Belgium strengthens their top position, adding 9 points to their previous standing. United Nations General Assembly designated 15 June as World Elder Abuse Awareness Day. The National Disaster Management conducted a basic training program at Dindal Port 
ट्रस एंड कांडला गुजरात मिस पद्मजा प्रेजेंटली हाई कमिश्नर ऑफ इंडिया टू रिपब्लिक ऑफ फिजी हैज बीन कॉन्क्रेंटली अक्रेडिट एज द नेक्स्ट हाई कमिश्नर ऑफ इंडिया टू विच प्लेस द इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फैमिली रेमिटेंसेस इज ऑब्जर्व ऑन विच डे एवरी ईयर नमस्ते थाईलैंड फिल्म फेस्टिवल ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन वॉज ऑर्गेनाइज वेयर द सेकेंड एडिशन ऑफ इंडिया इंटरनेशनल मेगा ट्रेड फेयर हैज बीन इनग्रेटेड वेयर जोजाना कापुतोवा हैज वॉज सोन इन द फर्स्ट फीमेल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ विच कंट्री Ms. Padmaza, presently High Commissioner of India to Republic of Fiji, has been given additional charge of in High Commissioner of India to Tuvalu. The International Day of Family Remittances is observed on 16th June. Namaste Thailand Film Festival 2019 concluded in New Delhi. Second edition of India International Mega Trade Fair has been inaugurated in Kolkata. Anti-corruption campaigner Zuzana Kaputova was sworn in as Slovakia's first female president. Lee Hee Ho who died at the age of 97 was a feminist activist in which country recently which country had decided to introduce larger denomination of currency due to hyperinflation which indian union minister took part in g20 ministerial meeting on energy transition and global environment for sustainable growth being held in karwizavo nagano prefecture Dash has approved the project for infrastructure development worth rupees sixteen hundred fifty crore in seven of the eight district headquarters town in Tripura. Which bank will now be under J N K R T I Act two thousand nine and the C V C guideline with effect from June seventeenth? Lee Hee Ho, a South Korean feminist activist, was who fought who fought for democracy against dictatorship alongside her husband and future president Kim Dae Jung, has died. Venezuela said it will introduce large denomination bolivar note as hyperinflation erases the currency's value and complicates most ordinary purchases in crisis ravaged country so it is going to circulate the new 10000 20000 50000 50, bills to make payment shri r k singh minister of state for power new and renewable energy and skill development and entrepreneurship was making intervention at the g20 ministerial meeting on energy transition and global environment for sustainable growth held in japan The Asian Development Bank has approved project for infrastructure development worth 1650 crore in seven of the eight district headquarters town in Tripura. The board of director of Jammu and Kashmir has decided to bring bank under JNK RTI Act and CVC guideline with effect from June 17th. Which space telescope of NASA will be switched off permanently on January 30th, 2020? Who became the fastest cricketer to reach 11000 run in ODI who is the winner of the FIH men series final Assam government will set up a skill university at the cost of 850 crore rupees in which district the trade war between united states and china has opened a window of opportunity for india to record additional export in case of at least how many items NASA's Spitzer space telescope will be switched off permanently on Jan 30 2020 after nearly 16 years of exploring the cosmos in infrared light Indian skipper Virat Kohli has become the fastest cricketer to reach 11000 runs in ODI international breaking Sachin Tendulkar's 17 year old record Sachin took 276 innings Virat Kohli has taken just 222 innings India defeated South Africa in FIH men's series final by 5 goal to 1 in a summit clash in Kalinga stadium in Bhubaneswar Assam government will set up a skill university at the cost of 850 crore rupees at Darang district that's uh, Assam uh capital is this poor governor is professor jagdish mukhi and cm sabarnan sonwal the trade war between united states and china has opened a window of opportunity for india to record additional export in case of at least 354 item ranging from capital good to base metal worth billions of dollar according to new commerce ministry study of the 774 american tariff line item on which china has imposed extra duties India can ship out more and replace the US especially 151 items the study suggests in 774 items China's import from US stand at an annual of almost 20.4 billion US dollar okay so with that we can conclude this week's uh, gainful also i'll again see you very soon with the next one thank you very much